Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. Now today we're going to be touching base on some Super 7 figures. I did recently get the Mohawk Zombie in the Super 7 figure. I actually got two of them, I'm going to show you those two as well. So I'll show you the entire collection based on Super 7 here in a second. Uh, but these two just literally just came in five minutes ago. So we're going to touch base on the Tar Man as well as Trash. There is another one out there, but it's the Trash Zombie version. I might pick that up at a later date, so keep that in mind. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you the uh, packaging, and then we're going to take it out of its uh, packaging, and then we'll get into the actual figure in itself. Okay, that's trash. Now that's Lanea, Lania, Lania Quigley, and she's trash. Okay, and that's the actual uh, name of the character is trash, but the. Uh, when she turns into a zombie, obviously she's called Trash Zombie. And both of the backs on these things are exactly the same. Okay, it's all based off of the movie. I do got t-shirts based on these things too, okay. Super 7, okay. More brains, okay. Now with that one in mind, let's get this one here. This is Tar Man, okay. He's the most popular character within this movie, okay. Everybody seems to want to pick these up. Now, there are actual figures out there and statues based on Tar Man, but they're ridiculously expensive. They're way out of uh, most price ranges. All right, so with that in mind, I am going to shut this down, pull this out of the, um, its boxes, and then we're going to look at the figure in itself. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're, we're back. We're back. Okay, we're back. And I pulled them out of their packages, as you can see, the Tar Man and uh, Trash Zombie, well, Trash in this case. And I also got the two Mohawk Zombies on here. Uh, those guys were originally, uh, the original character in the beginning where he's wearing the uh, chain uh, jacket and stuff. And he got bit uh, in the head by the Tar Man. Uh, well, he ended up turning into this guy. Anyway, and the poster versions of Trash Zombies out there, you, you'll notice what I'm talking about. Uh, I do have the t-shirts based on that. Uh, I'm thinking about getting the actual trash zombie version of uh, the Super 7 figure. I'll probably get that sometime down the line. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all these figures. So we're going to shut this down here. All right, and we're going to pull these guys off of here. I'm only going to show you the one uh, trash zombie here. I mean, um, Mohawk zombie. Because... The other one's exactly the same. And they come with, like, the guts. But I left them in the room on the shelf, so. Let's take a look at this guy here. Now, I got a video showing you this guy here. He is very cool looking, okay? Yeah, he's been through some trials and tribulations after he get bit in the head by Mr. Tarman here, okay? And he's got some skinny legs, okay? Enough about that guy. Let's move on to trash. Okay. Alright, so now let me just give you a good look at that. Pull that back a bit. Alright, I'm gonna give you a close-up look at this too. They did a really good job on this. Considering it's not super highly detailed because of the size of the figure, but when you look at it, you know it's trash, okay? And there is that one scene, if you've never seen this movie, where she takes off all her clothes and she's dancing up on the tombstone. Everybody's like, yeah, go do it, do it. <laughs> and that's a famous scene. That's probably one of the famous scenes in uh, the movie. Besides what he says, he's like, brains. Very cool movie. And then they end up making um, three other movies besides that. And they get really dumb after a while, but the first two were okay. And then it was absent. It was retarded after that. The fourth one literally had zombies that look like uh, assimilated Borg uh, characters from Star Trek. First time I ever seen that, I was like, "Holy crap, man! They look just like the Borg." <laughs> yeah, they have been assimilated. Now you notice there's little holes in the bottom of this. I'm sure you can probably use a NECA stand or something on these, but they are a little smaller than usual, so. It's highly unlikely, but you can try, okay? I haven't never really tried, so. The articulation on this is just like any other of the figures. 
The arm is fully extended, but it will not bend at the elbow. It will not twist at the hands, okay? They do move at the shoulders. The head does move, as you can see. All right. The legs move back and forth. There's no bending at the knees or the feet, okay? These are particularly small uh, figures, but they are nicely detailed. They're a nice collection to my masks. I've got all four of the Trick or Treat Studios masks based on uh, the Return of the Living Dead. Let's move on to Tarman. He's the most popular character within that movie besides Trash. Um, when you, you see the Return of the Living Dead, the, the first thing that comes to people's mind is the zombie that comes out of the canister. And he's very cool looking. Again, he's got holes in the bottom of his feet. Articulation is the same way as uh, trash. Okay, you can see a little bit of the skeletal formation in his back. Very cool. Now, they really did a nice job on the details on this, especially as small as it is. The color scheme is almost perfect. Okay, because usually when he comes out, because he's in the canister, but his head's sticking up, so that's the reason why it's a little light colored on the top. I figured I'd show you this uh, stuff. I do have um, a Killer Clowns lunchbox coming in. This one actually has the thermos to it. So one that does come in, it's being processed right now. We'll do a video on that. But in the meantime, that's pretty much it on my collection here so far on the Return of the Living Dead. When it comes to the Super 7 figures, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be pushing out that next video. Once that lunchbox comes in. And I think it's made of metal too. So that's cool. And it comes with a thermos. Now I do have another Killer Clowns um, lunchbox. But unfortunately it doesn't come with a thermos. So I, I, th that video is actually on this channel. If you want to go ahead and check it out. It's on here. Just, I get, just you know, look for it. In the meantime don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys at the very next video.